outset I seek your indulgence. For time. Time is too I'll, small. I need more. Number you one. You have four Number minutes. Number two, I stand to... Your party time is four minutes. You can take one minute more. Uh -huh. Five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Then, baki ham ta khich lega. <laughs> so, uh, on the whole, I stand not to oppose this bill. The, basically, the bill contains that transfer of RBI share to central government. Now, central government is the 100 percent owner of the entire Navar share. Okay, we are fully satisfied on this and on that count, definitely I am supporting this bill. With a caution, given the overall atmosphere, please do put this into the track of disinvestment and strategic sale. Back because that is the overall economic philosophy of the government. Kindly save it for that. Because it is a very crucial for rural credit, agricultural developmental credit. Not only rural credit, but at the same time, rural infrastructure developmental credit, NABARD, is meant for. And it has got an umbilical relationship with the RBI. And RBI also play, played all along, played an important role in monitoring the working of NABARD. In that situation, the transfer of RBI 0.4% share, whether it will act on that, I will urge the finance minister to kindly take care because RBI's close association in NABARD management is of crucial importance. Given the present situation of a very perverse, I don't have any other word, in perverse situation, in the distribution of rural and agricultural credit in our rural India, where more than 50 percent of the farming community are out of institutional credit. They are victim to private money lenders. In this kind of a situation, and when you are working with a declared project of making the farmer's income double till 2022. And the background is that even after announcement of loan waiver, in one state alone, after announcement of loan waiver in a span of eight months after that, 3,000 farmers have committed suicide only in one state. I don't like to name the state here. You know, one in the, this is the background. Here, your project of doubling farmers' income, if that is at all a serious one, needs that the whole working of the rural finance and agricultural support needs a overhauling and where NABARD can definitely play a very important role. Now, I, let me put, put forth certain figures from the NABARD annual report itself. They are telling that small and marginal farmer account, totally small and marginal farmer's uh, account represents 56.9% of the total accounts. But credit flows to them is only 41%. There is a mismatch. Secondly, more than 70% of the agricultural credit is being disbursed by the urban branch of the commercial banks, urban-centric branch of the commercial bank. And it clearly shows they are rich in the remote village area is not taking place. And number three is that the small loan, 25,000 or more rupees, this small loan in the total agricultural credit which was at one point of time 61% in the 90s, has now fallen to 6.7% currently. 6.7%. Such a perversion in the whole credit distribution scenario, your project of doubling farmers' income needs a reversal of this trend in the fund distribution, which requires much more capitalization you have put 30,000 rupee crore, uh, 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 the uh, authorized capital, it needs to be increased beyond this capitalization. <coughs> there must be a continuous flow of fund from the central government and also from the RBI. RBI has a surplus, which has been there. That was the system all along to, to NABARD 
to fund these rural infrastructural things. Another thing you must reconsider that at present, as a supplementary source of rural credit, the regional rural bank who are operating at the direction of a sponsor commercial yes. bank. Your time. That, please, two minutes. That completely failed to change this perversion in the distribution of the credit in the rural scenario. Completely failed. And what is important here, I already told in this house while participating in the Nabard bill uh, deliberation, that a situation is important now uh, uh, on RRB bill uh, deliberation, that the situation is de demands a, an apex bank uh, associating NABAR for distribution, separate distribution of the rural credit only. And I can assure you, sir, given the present pattern of the NPAs, the NPA from the rural areas and NPA from the SME, MSMEs <laughs> represent less than 20% of the total NPA. The entire 80% of the NPA are big sharks yes. who are breakfast and dine with who's and who's in the government daily. Their face shown in the TV screen. It is they who steal the public money to make in NPA. But these poor agricultural people and poor MSMEs, they are paying back. That is their st standard of integrity. Those big guys have no integrity at all. So in this situation, unless you separate the whole rural credit system and set up an apex agricultural or rural credit institution separately, directly under RBI, and associating our NABAR and the RRB net network of RRBs, definitely the, this perversion in the rural credit distribution can be effectively addressed. By no element of this kind of amendment cannot change the perverse distri distribution of the rural credit unless there is a focused, proactive intervention with a separate institutional arrangement. That is the only way. Otherwise, Jumla will continue of doubling the farmer's income. <coughs> bill will be amended. We are not opposing the bill. But agriculture, agrarian crisis will increase. Agrarian suicide will increase. And at the same time, the slogans of doubling the farmers will continue with a very high decibel. That is not the situation asked for. And on that ground, I urge upon the government in this context to ensure <coughs> that NABARD continue to remain a fully owned, NABARD continue to have a very close umbilical relationship with RBI so far its leadership is management is concerned and at the same time long term agricultural credit should be okay. increased for capital formation in okay. agriculture and this perversion in the distribution of rural credit must be corrected okay. with immediate proactive initiative. With these words, I uh, put my observation on the bill before the House. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Sivir Singh.